Hey, what's up? This is Danny. I'm going to be showing you about this new tool we are releasing called BoxCam. BoxCam creates 2D cameras inside of After Effects that are super easy and fun to use. To get a better idea of what a 2D camera means inside of After Effects, let's jump on into this composition. So, as you can see in here, there are a bunch of different layers and there are two BoxCam layers. Now, normally all of these different layers here would be controlled by a null and you'd have to figure out, okay, this is parent to this, so this one's parent to this one, so therefore I need to parent this null to that. And it gets really messy really quickly. And what BoxCam is trying to solve for is it is going to allow us to make these really awesome camera movement, movements inside of After Effects without having to, you know, mess around with all those different nulls. So we have these two layers right here. Uh, this first one is animating from the bottom of the um, building and as the building animation progresses it is going to slowly make its way up to the top and this second box cam layer here is kind of just to showcase the entire graphic and uh, and elaborate what that looks like so um, as you can see in this outermost composition here uh, once we transition to that upmost layer we can see that the viewport automatically jumps to uh, where that layer is. And so all the animations inside of this composition uh, on these box cam layers ultimately reflect what is shown in this outermost layer here. So to get a better idea of exactly what's going on and how one would go about making a box cam animation, let's start from scratch. So here is our box cam interface. And we have three different buttons on here. We have a add new box cam button, we have a create a new output composition button, and then we also have a set a custom resolution button. We're going to start with adding a new box cam. And this is going to default to the size of the composition. But we can obviously scale this down, we can move it around, we can uh, rotate it. Uh, basically anything that you could do to a normal shape layer, you can do to a box cam. So let's rebuild this animation and we're going to scale down this guy a little bit more. Um, we're going to start him down here and let's add a position keyframe there. Um, back that up to the beginning of the animation and as this animation progresses, let's say that we want the box cam to end up being at the very top of the building here. Okay, great. So very simple. Uh, let's add a little bit of easing on there with uh, motion. So now we got this very simple uh, box cam animation. And if we want to um, showcase exactly what that box cam is seeing, we're going to click on this create a new output composition button. So what this does is basically it is a composition that is um, outside of the nested composition where the box cam lives and is going to reference exactly what that what is inside of that box cam and showcase it here. So as you can see, we have this beautiful animation going all the way up the building and it was super easy to make. Okay, so one last thing that we need to cover is this third button here and this is for setting a custom resolution. So when we make a new box cam, we can set this custom resolution uh, prior to making the box cam and it'll automatically make the box cam in those dimensions. Uh, so we hit use custom box cam size and then we type in the width and then the height. So these existing box cams here, if we want to change the resolution of those, we can do that as well. Now, currently they are 1280 by 720 and let's go ahead and make them 720 by 720. So we hit OK and then we're going to go to um, this settings tab again and we are going to hit alt while clicking on this tab and it's going to automatically update all these different box cams to all be 720 by 720. And now if we want that to reflect into this outermost composition we're going to hover over the create a new output composition button and we're going to do the same thing of holding alt and clicking on it and there we go now it's all updated. All right, well that about wraps it up. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial and have a better idea of how powerful and how fun BoxCam really is. It's a great way to add a bunch of different flair to your animation style. Being able to showcase all the intricacies and cool parts of your animation pieces is something that is very easily done with BoxCam. If you're interested, go give us a try at aescripts.com. Thanks.